and up and coming Cleveland musician will also find a home at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin explores a popular guitar shop right here in Northeast Ohio. There are lots of rock bands and musicians that are on the Cleveland rock scene right now. But when the show is over, many of them come here, this local guitar shop in Cleveland Heights, a place they say that's like an extension of the musical family. At Heights Guitars, it's not uncommon to see people rocking out. Change my Hitting all the right notes, even if not everyone is a fan. Still, the show goes on at one of the very few locally owned guitar shops in Cleveland. But it's not high pressure, you know. It, it's like coming into someone's living room, um, someone that has like a lot of gear. Daryl Branch has been at the store over two years. He's been on Cleveland's rock scene for more than a decade. He says rock groups love the homemade feel you get in the store and all the vintage guitars for that warm, crisp sound that you often can't find any place else in the city. Most of the musicians that I know, they aren't in it to become famous. They're in it because they've got the stuff in them that uh, needs to get out. He says many Cleveland area rock bands have hit a new scene, the internet. Area bands like Hot Cha Cha are not waiting for massive distribution by labels. They're doing it themselves. People are producing and making and distributing their own music because of the tools that they have at their access. And many branch says make their way into Heights Guitars, a place he feels where everyone knows your name. And ladies and gentlemen, here now our very own News Channel 5 rocker, the one, the only, Michael Baldwin. Here's a Collection Auto Group rock history question. After the shooting of students at Kent State in 1970, the governor of Ohio banned the song, Ohio. Who sang the song? Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, Eric Burden & War, Bob Dylan. We'll be right back with the answer.